guys, good morning. This is the third video for Vlogus. It's actually the third day of Vlogus too, so so far I'm on track. <laughs> I'm in my dining room slash craft room slash laundry room. About to start a load of whites of towels and just his blanket because he got semen roll all over it. Not the same blanket he cut, different blanket. <laughs> you can hear him in the background. I just got done cleaning a lot in here. Uh, picked up all his toys and random stuff. Folded a load of laundry. And dumping all my towels in there. Um, swept. Did I ever say that? I swept a lot. I'm trying to just clean up a little bit before we leave. Because in a little bit, it's a little after 9 right now. I got to go um, to my in-law's house and wait for the girl that I babysit to get off the school bus because she had like orientation or something today. Washing my kitchen rugs and all that too. <laughs> and um, getting one of these thingies. Well, I guess one will do. We'll see. <laughs> but um, I just got you propped up with some oxyclean. But yeah, so. I gotta do that and then I'm gonna go play Pokemon and Wizards Unite and then I'm thinking about running to the Dollar Tree to see if they have a lot of Halloween stuff out yet. Uh, Catherine said that they did have Halloween out so I'm gonna go check it out. I got these there the other day. Got an orange pumpkin and a green one. Oh they're cute. That's But they just had fall out the other day so now they're supposedly got Halloween. Let me get the washer started. Okay. Alright, so now that's started. He's been really loud in there, but that's okay. He's playing with cars. Um, it smells really good in here. I got my wax melter pulled out. I don't really use that a lot in the summer. I save it for like the fall and winter <laughs> usually. So I got it out and I already put a fall scent in it. <laughs> it's called Spice It Up. This is a citrus and spice. It smells so good. It's right here. It's on my stove, so it's smell, smelling the whole house up really good. I love that. I need to get some more of that. Kind of had last year. That was some kind of pumpkin or something. But I'm gonna grab his bag and pack it up because I always take an extra change of clothes in case he has an accident. And I got our waters already. Gotta get my wallet and all that stuff. And then um, we'll see. I wanted to come back on and say uh, show you these materials I got. The washer's filling up, so that's probably loud. But I went ahead and got some Halloween materials because it was at Walmart. So this one is like Halloween cats. I love this one. This would be a pretty pillow. Or like a couch or something. And then I had this one last year. They didn't have the cool vintage one last from last year. And then I got this to do liners. So this is I'm, three yards. I got this here. What you doing? I'm going to play with my toys in here. And the bumper cars. I changed them to bumper cars. They're bumper cars? Right. Wow, that's so cool. And they can taste it wild. What did you just eat for breakfast? Uh. Uh. What were we eating earlier? Cinnamon rolls. Are they yummy? Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome, aren't they? Whoops, my finger. We gotta go get cat in a minute, don't we? Yeah. Can we show you Granny this? The granny? Cereal. We're not filming for Granny right now. We're filming for Mommy's channel. Can we see? Oh. Hi, Mommy's channel. I film clips a lot to send to my mom of him, so he thought I was doing that. Look, it's a boomer car to send for Granny. She said, cheese for me and I don't. I think this is the camera. Yep. Uh, Mommy's gonna go pack our bag up. Hi, baby. Okay, so I made it to my in-laws. I'm in the car, but I'm not driving, obviously. <laughs> I'm sitting here crocheting on this blanket still. Jesse's in the back seat. We're sitting in the shade waiting for the school bus to run. We passed all of them. Uh, coming down the road, coming out of the garage. My yarn is all tangled up. What's happening? But, um, so we're sitting here waiting for her to come. And then we're gonna go to our square so that I can play my games for a minute. What you are coming. And then hopefully to, um, Dollar Tree. 
to look at their Halloween stuff. I wish Hobby Lobby and all that would put out their Halloween stuff already. Our Home Goods opens on Sunday, this coming Sunday. So I may have to pop in there and look around at their Halloween stuff. <laughs> they they usually carry a lot of really nice Halloween stuff. Whoa, yeah, so I just thought I would check in for a second. I dropped it again. Can I get it again? Yeah, Zay. He dropped his car. I don't get it. guys I just wanted to check back in um I filmed around a bit today <laughs> uh I'm thinking about filming a no kitchen name episode here in a minute now would be a good time because it's a little bit before Devin's launch so I can get it done before he goes on the launch and I need to talk to him but I'm just sitting on the couch right now I'm crocheting a <laughs> a spider it's basically made just like a crochet octopus that everybody makes but you just space the legs out differently so that it's eight legs you know, four on each side instead of eight, you know, all the way around. So I'm going to make a bunch of these in uh, Halloween colors. So I got green and orange and purple and black. So I'm going to make some of each and maybe stripe some of them or something. And uh, just to make some little emigrimi spiders. I thought that'd be cute. Um, i trying to find some little quick emigrimis to make. And then I might make some more big ones for the craft fair. I've learned something, though, in the past little while. <laughs> I did not enjoy having to make stuff for a craft fair. Um, I think I might like doing a craft fair and, you know, obviously if I sell stuff, that'd be great, but I don't like the prepping for it. I don't like not being able to crochet what I want to crochet. And right now I want to work on other things and I can't because I got to get stuff done for the craft fair. So that kind of sucks. I don't know if I'm going to do any more craft fairs after this one because I don't like feeling like I have to do certain stuff, you know, because to me, the crochet part of No Catch Name is the fun part you know it's the part that I love doing and it's a hobby and it's fun and the business part is um, putting out videos and making bags that's the business part so I don't want my crochet to become a business part of it to where I'm having to make stuff uh, for money or whatever I want to make what I want to make and right now I can't work on the stuff that I want to work on because I have to make emigrumis like crazy for this craft fair so 
I don't know. I probably, probably, can't say my word. Oh, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> I've been cleaning. Um, I probably won't do any more craft fairs. I don't know. I mean, maybe if this one does really good, I might change my mind and want to do more. But right now, I don't. <laughs> But this pattern is a free pattern, by the way. It's super simple so far. And there's no sewing at all. Like, the only sewing you'll have to do is the last end when you close it is sew it shut. Because <laughs> even this inside end, you don't really have to weave in. But, uh, I mean, you can weave it, but you don't have to, like, cut it or anything. But the legs are worked on around. And then you, you know, finish the circle of the body and close it. Stuff it in that eyes and all that. And, um super easy and it would be pretty fast but i was i was talking to the girl that i babysit and jesse and all that he just now went in his room with his tablet playing it and she just got picked up so i'm sitting here i want to finish this spider i think i might try to finish it real fast before i film so that it'll be a finished object <laughs> but um it's the i think it's got a weird name it's called my crawly the spider and I was wondering if maybe she or he, whoever wrote it, m meant to put Mr. Crawley the Spider. But it just says My Crawley the Spider. And it's from To Craft a Home. And it's free on their website. It's, it looks like they got a few. Yeah, they got free patterns and some paid patterns. I just found it randomly. I've been searching for uh, little amigurumis and Halloween themed ones. And, uh, oh yeah, I actually recognize some of these patterns. That she has for, or he <laughs> has for free. This, I don't know if you can see it or not. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that reindeer, I remember seeing that a lot um, before. But yeah, so I'm working on the spider. I'm using my yarn bowl again. I've been using the heck out of this the last few days because I'm using scrap balls um, to make all these amigurumis with, and they fit perfect in my yarn bowl that was gifted to me. I can't remember if it was gifted to me for my birthday. I think she gave it to me for my birthday, but it's from Becky at the Funny Farm Crochet. <laughs> and I feel like every time I talk about something I have, it's from her. She sent me a lot of stuff um, around the time, around my birthday and all that, I think is when she was. But um, it's like a, it's actual, like a clay pottery one, which is really cool. But I love it. I've been using the heck out of it lately. I wish that I had put this one in one of the holes right there. I think I'm going to start using those holes for some, you know, Chris, for little projects, it's okay to use those holes, but I wouldn't want to use that for a big project. But anyways, and I'm using my, um, Snappy Tots bag, the limited edition bag. This is her first limited edition bag. Now I think she's got two more out. <laughs> um, so this, this one's, I made in 2017, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I just got all my Halloween color scraps in there to make spiders with, is my plan. And, uh, hopefully I can get uh, quite a few of them made. So far, it's basically like an octopus. It's just, uh, it's actually using a G hook instead of an elf. And so far, my attention's been okay. Sometimes, if I don't use an elf hook, my attention gets all swanky. But it's pretty good right now. So, I'm going to try to finish this spider, and then I may go film a No Catching Name episode real fast, and it'll probably be short because I have a lot of finished objects, but I don't have any whips. I have my project that is a whip, but I can't show it. And then I have the spider, and I have another amigurumi that I will show. I think that's all my active whips. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I gotta do that. I gotta do some laundry and figure out something for dinner. I think I'm gonna make some chicken in the oven with a rub on it because I'm just kind of craving the rub. It's a brown sugar rub and it's really good. Mm. But, uh, yeah. I wish I had a pork loin or something. There weren't any on sale when I went grocery shopping. I wanted to get a, a beef roast, but they were all like $18 and I don't want to pay that much for a roast but uh yeah whatever it's life <laughs> $18 for one piece of meat is a lot of money when you have a $55 grocery budget <laughs> so uh I only buy those when they're on markdown or we have a lot of extra grocery money one week but yeah I'm trying to make sure I didn't forget anything so I will I'm sure you'll see more clips from in this video but I'm also going to try to get a No Kitchen Name episode. If I do film it, it'll be out probably the same day this video comes out. If I can get it edited in time. We shall see. <laughs> oh, let me pause Bailey. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up on YouTube videos myself. I'm a little behind. But I'm excited that so many people are doing vlogs Because it gives me more stuff to watch. That is YouTube people that I enjoy watching. Instead of having to like run out of YouTube videos. And then go watch actual TV. <laughs> But anyways, I changed my mind about 
filming No Catchy Name today because I'm losing, I lost pretty much all the good sunlight and I would have to change my shirt um, to do it because there's a stain on there. <laughs> and I try to be a little bit more professional with No Catchy Name episodes. Vlogs are different because it's real life. But I finished the spider, the first one. This is Red Heart um, Glowworm, I think it is. And it's got uh, big old safety eyes and they're red or orange, orangey red um, irises. No, but it's no, so no. cute. And it was so simple. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make so many more of these. <laughs> See, it's basically an octopus, just the legs are spaced out differently so that it's spider. I think it'll be so cute hanging up. I was thinking when I, when I finished this, I was like, I need to make a bunch to hang from like my ceiling <laughs> for Halloween. That would be so cute. I love this. I'll try to remember to link this below, but it'll for sure be linked in the, the new No Catchy Name episode, which I'm going to try to film tomorrow sometime, so it should be around Sunday. Sometime Sunday, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and start another one. I think I'll go ahead and make another green one, because I still got a bunch of glowworm. And uh, it's already in my bowl, so I will go ahead and use it. I like to put my uh, yarn in there like that and then turn it away from me so that the tension is on there and it just spins and does its thing without me having to worry about it. But I'm going to sit here and make another spider and glowworm and catch... Oop, I just slung you guys. <laughs> Watch some more YouTube videos and yeah, let's see what time is it. Oh, it's 7 o'clock. Every time I vlog it in the evening, it's 7 o'clock. That's so weird. Jess is in his bedroom still. He was making a slide with his blankets and pillows and sliding off the bed uh, into the floor. But that's okay. <laughs> He's a kid. He's allowed to be a little rough. And um, I know he just got over a broken arm, but he had to be so careful with it. So I'm letting him be a little bit rough. <laughs> um, I think he'll be okay. He's a boy. He'll be fine. But yeah, so I think this is adorable. I love this. I just love it. And when I was making it, I actually had an epiphany on, on another thing that I might actually try to make a pattern for eventually. Um, just, like, inspired me. The way the legs are done is so cool. Like, you can't even tell. You know, they, they're just done so well. <laughs> you just crochet right over them. And they're just, you know, no sewing at all. The only sewing I did, the whole thing, was this last end when I sewed up the hole and weaved in the end. So that's so awesome. This person, what does this person say? The website is called a, To Craft a Home. Let me see here about. Okay, she's got a family. Let's see, her name is Kate, so it is a girl. <laughs> it looks like she's married and she has two little girls. I'm going to have to go through there and read that. She's got a big About Me thing. And, oh, she's got a cat, two cats, three cats, four cats. She's got four cats. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to go read her about me thing and all that. That's really cool. I love this pattern. 